Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about effective annual yield, which is the difference between the advertised rate of interest, say 5% compounded monthly, and what that rate is actually worth each year if it had been stated in simple interest. The nominal rate is the actual annualized interest rate, and the effective annual yield is how much that actually turns out to be in the end. For example, consider the future value of a single dollar. If you invest one dollar at 5% simple interest, I've done that calculation on the left in purple, and you see you get five cents for that dollar. So in the end, the account has a dollar and five cents in it. This makes sense because 5% of a dollar is five cents and that's how much we earned. On the other hand, if another dollar is invested at 5% interest compounded daily, you're gonna get a little bit more because it has a bunch of compounding periods where interest accumulates upon interest. In blue, I've calculated the future value of that dollar. Again, the principal is $1, the interest rate that's stated is 0.05, and the time one year, but we have to take into consideration those 365 times the compounding occurs. Plugging into our compound interest formula, we have 1 times 1 plus 0.05 over 365 to the 365th power. And what happens is that you actually have the dollar turn into a dollar and five cents plus a little bit more, a fraction of a penny more, which if you have a bunch of dollars invested or you invest for multiple years is gonna add up. So really, you're not just earning 5%, you're earning 5.13% approximately on that dollar. Notice that the decimal part of each of these future value answers is the decimal form of the interest that you're earning. So what we would like to think about is when we want to find effective annual yield, how much do you earn on that dollar? So if you take the compound interest formula, A equals P times one plus R over N to the NT, and you assume that you're in investing just a single dollar for a single year, so P is one and T is one, you're gonna get A equals one plus R over N to the N, which would be one point something. If you subtract off the one, you get what's called the effective annual yield, the interest rate that you're actually earning. Here's an example where we're asked to calculate the effective annual yield. In this case, the account is paying a nominal rate of 4.2% compounded monthly. So we wanna know what's that equivalent to in terms of simple interest. Plugging into the effective annual yield formula, one plus R over N to the N minus one, we're going to plug in 0.042 for the rate R. And since it's compounded monthly, we know that the number of compounding periods is 12. This gives us Y equals one plus 0 0.042 over 12 to the 12th power minus one, which is approximately 0.0428 or 4.28%. So you're actually earning a little bit more as expected. One of the challenges is plugging this into your calculator. One way to plug this into your calculator to make sure you don't um, have any errors in your order of operations. So one way is to use parentheses to guarantee the correct order of operations. So you could type into your calculator a parenthesis one plus and then you have to put a parenthesis around that fraction just to make sure that it, um, the order of operations is correct on your calculator. Um, so you'd have parentheses 0.042 divided by 12. Then you close both sets of parentheses 
and then you use the caret symbol to raise it to the 12th power. So let's go ahead and do that on the calculator. We have one, oh, excuse me, gotta turn it on and clear it out. And we have parenthesis one plus parenthesis 0 0.042 divided by 12, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and then raise it to, using that power um, key, the 12th power, enter. And you can see it turns out to be 1.04281807. And we round it off to four decimal places so that it's the percentage to do to two. So when you put it in percent form, it has two decimal places. Another approach to this problem, um, this is like my, my little thing that I like to do. Instead of having to use all of those, quite so many parentheses, um, I like to add the one by making it 12 over 12. So what that gives you is 12.042 divided by 12, one fraction raised to the 12th power. So let's try entering it that way. So we have um, parentheses 12.042 divided by 12, close parentheses, raised to the 12th power, and you get the same result. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.